Is your future still in your present? Are you caught in the world you want to be and have neglected the now? Let's talk about that. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. Life gets busy and the mere thought of stopping and enjoying a moment probably gives you anxiety because you just do not have the time to spare. But are you missing out on the important things because you haven't stopped to appreciate the now? Do not dismiss the small things in your life. Like seasons, life changes, but the one thing that remains constant is you. We must learn to cherish the every moment and appreciate what we have in our lives right now, regardless of the season we're in. Ecclesiastes 3.1 reminds us that to everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. We keep waiting for that right moment to present itself, for us to either say something or to do something or make a change. But then that time passes and we lose the moment, that moment we will never regain. Life is unpredictable. So we need to acknowledge and enjoy those little things in our lives that matter. On those days when everything seems wrong, nothing is going your way, the job, the relationships, just life in itself, what do you do? Leave me a comment below. Share with me your coping methods. I want to hear how you handle these situations. I have had hard days in every area of my life, but I've had to learn how to cope while allowing myself to connect with my feelings. I do not ignore them or pretend that they do not exist. But what I do, I try to think about the things that require no effort to give me the strength to go through these days. I think about the good things in my life that can easily be lost in the chaos. Philippians 4, 8 says, whatsoever things are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, of a good report, we are to think on them. I also stop and get into a quiet mindset. I would whisper a prayer or meditate on a scripture that resonates with how I'm feeling in the moment. I have, all, I, I have also developed the attitude of taking some Allison time to go for a walk, to take a few minutes for myself, to do something that I like. I listen to music because it makes me happy. I like to dance, so I will allow myself to be silly but I truly don't know how to dance. You work hard. You deserve a moment. You deserve to enjoy you. In today's fast paced, forward thinking world, it is easy to forget about the little things in life and forget to give God thanks for the common things, for waking us up, the air that we breathe, for being our provider, a roof over our head, and food on our table. We fail to see all the beautiful blessings He has given us because we are caught up in wanting the more. Psalm 103 verse 2 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not His benefits. We are to acknowledge the Lord and forget not what He has done for us. He is the creator of all things. It is almost spring and the flowers are blooming. Thank him for nature, for the sun that shines. There is so much that we take for granted. But focusing on the little things will gradually shift your thoughts from what is missing in your life to what is there. Where the thoughts of where I should be or where I could have been come in, 
I focus on what I have already accomplished. Do not forget to say thank you to someone that needs to hear it. Do not forget to say, I love you to the people that matter, or I appreciate you. Reach out to someone, find out how they're doing. Time is a precious commodity. Do not mentally rush through it or wish it away. Celebrate every day, every moment as if, as much as you can, as if it's your last. Celebrate good weather by going for a walk. Celebrate getting through a daunting task by doing something you enjoy. Choose to be present in the now. Analyze your feelings for what they are. Mindfulness is critical to generating positive emotions. You should wake up and go to bed with gratitude. A heart of thanksgiving at the forefront of your mind. Ephesians 4.26 says, Be ye angry and sin not, and let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Guys, focus on your goals, your plans, and your desires, but please take the time to enjoy the little things in life, or pretty soon life will pass you by. I'm Alison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me for thought.